In the middle of the night, a woman noticed something strange. The sky was unusually bright at 3 o'clock in the morning. When she looked through the blinds, a mysterious aurora borealis glowed across the sky and then expanded rapidly. The light was so bright that Daisy couldn't even open her eyes, but she remained calm. Since this was Iceland, the aurora borealis was normal, so she went back under the covers. In the morning, her boyfriend Jeff came to see her and decided to go for breakfast. They walked into the hotel restaurant but it was closed so they figured it was a closed day so they went out to get something to eat. But when they stepped outside, they saw that no one was around. At first, Jeff thought it might be a holiday and people would be out late. But as they walked further and further, they realized that every street and store was empty, and even the normally busy square was silent. They panicked at what they saw. How could a small town be so empty? So they walked straight into the supermarket next door, only to find no one there, not even an animal to be seen. They started searching every street, but still nothing. When they came to a tavern they realized that the seats were neatly arranged, which meant that no one had been here since yesterday's closing time. Daisy was in a complete panic. What was going on? Suddenly Jeff had an idea. He got up and looked for the TV remote but found that there was no signal on the TV either. Could it be that there is some kind of virus in the town? But there was nothing out of the ordinary along the way. Or maybe there are outer space monsters coming to the town. But there were no outer spaceships in sight. The two of them went back to the hotel where they were staying and Jeff tried to find the answer on the internet. But he realized that all the news on the internet was from yesterday. And Daisy's phone calls were never answered. The two of them were gradually being driven crazy when Jeff came up with another idea and dragged Daisy outside. He intended to find a high place to have a better look at the situation. Only when he he saw the whole picture could he understand what happened. But before they got very far, they saw a car with the windows open in the middle of the road and the car was still running and the driver was nowhere to be seen. The two of them got into the car and set off in the direction of the summit, then walked for another hour up the mountain. They entered the villa, but it was also empty. Even if Jeff looked carefully inside the house, but there was no movement. The two of them were starting to fall apart. Who knew what would happen next? They hugged each other and comforted each other. They were just traveling and this happened to them. By the time they got back, it was late at night, and Daisy fell into bed, wondering if they were just dreaming and would wake up tomorrow. But when she opened her eyes the next morning, the city was still as quiet as ever, and there was no news on the computer. And Daisy said that her greatest wish at the moment was to get away from this place. However, Jeff could only stare at it. No matter how to survive is the only thing that matters. Thinking of this, the two rushed to the supermarket where they took everything they could get their hands on and loaded several shopping carts, making it impossible for one car to haul it all. Seeing this Jeff went to get a big car but after thinking about their refrigerator is not big. Enough the two simply went to the villa area and picked the biggest and newest one of the houses.